welcome back, welcome to, welcome back, and welcome to my channel, every EBDL age aggressor. Hi, I'm Emily, and this is from the Social Identity System, and this is, we're going to read this story finally, because the last time I tried it twice, the video went blanky blanky bye bye, because my friend had to put, switch my 14 videos I had from my terminal drive to the SD card, so thank you for her if you're watching this, and I'm happy now. And we got a cute baby girl nightgown on. We're going to read a story, and I can't wait. And I did two videos you could thumbs up. My FLDS videos that are true in my life, my story. My age regression or little space videos. You could please thumbs up those. And my best one I just did that we had lots of fun. And I was playing and a little bit of dissociating between Rose and me. We were playing with our dollhouse and our toys from... Honeybee Eakers from Walmart, which is the cheap, happy, generic version of Little Critters. And Little Critters, Little Critters is the original one and the better or expensive brand. But the one I have and the best one I like is Honeybee Eakers from Walmart. And you can get those toys from Walmart. Or if you like a little bit more expensive toys that are similar to them, they're called Little Woodsies from Target. You can check those out. And they're like super fun. And I love Barbie, don't get me wrong, but... Playing with little animals and like they're going on adventures. Super fun. So check out that video. And it's called Age Regression Little Space DBLG AVDL. And I played and had lots of fun. And guess what? Ha! I'm a little deer. Ha! I like it. I look so cootie cootie. Ha 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 ha. La da 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 da. Ha ha. So, hello, my name is Rose, and I am a babysitter from this protective system. My name is Rose, and I am the caregiver of this system of dissociative identity. So, we're going to read you a story, and I've been trying to keep my eyes out between Cassie fighting and being a nitpicker, and little Emily with her autism and special needs and playing toys and dollies, I am a babysitter from the 1840s and 1950s, and I'm from the 1900s and 1875 and 1745, and we are a protective system of dissociative identity, and we also are on this channel, and we do different adventures, so click the about part on this channel, and we shall tell you a story of Alice in Wonderland from England, and it is a true story, and the real story of Alice in Wonderland is bonkers and totally wicked. It, if you just YouTube the real story, it's pretty, like, mad. So here we go. I'm going to read you a story, and I'm Rose from the system, and I'm a babysitter. And I watch the collective system of this body. And I take care of all three alters, little Emily, Cassie, and myself, and, of course, Princess, the host, and Emmeline, the one who's in the body. So... When Alice fell down a rabbit hole, things became a bit curiouser and curiouser and quite wonky, we must say. Do you know what I mean? The most peculiar thing was an odd creature floating in a pool of crying, whining, bloody tears. It makes... doesn't make any sense, eh? Doesn't make any sense. Crikey, just a bit silly, eh? A Wallace came out, a creepy fat Wallace smoking a stinky cigar, saying, Hmm, a box of crayons and sprinkles, don't forget the sparkles on the box of tea, eh? Huh? She said, you don't make any sense, eh? Capturing a moment of oxing and underwater creatures, of austal styles and oxidizing creatures of the water, of little baby clamshells. Here they are, the baby clamshells. How awesome, how horrid is this? Alice sprouts up in a big fat flat. Do you know what a flat is? A flat is a house, what the Americans call. We call it a flat. So. Oh my goodness, I'm in a flat. This looks horrid. Ah, my bloomers are sticking out. This is not a good thing. You can see every little bit of me. Can't you? I'm sticking out of the flat. This is not good. Uh, 
Oh my goodness, it's very exciting. Extraordinary flowers, extraordinary beautiful things. A garden, a plot. A plot is in a garden, a garden is in a plot, eh? Wow, talking beautiful flowers of all kinds of flowers. Look how beautiful they are. Peculiar flowers. Wow, a strange invite indeed. A strange indeed invite indeed. Tea for three or four or five, please. Tea for three, served up with foolish games and foolish people. Do you know what a riddle is? Can you figure out the riddle? Ha! Bloody hell, crikey, no. I'm blonde. Can't you tell? Here she is. Let's see what else happens. Ah! So bizarre. Ah! Oh my goodness, bizarre. Brazar a brooming, a brooming brazar. Brazar indeed. What a bushy dog. Why can't you sit properly? Why not? Well, thank you very much, Alice said. But the dog with the bushy tail and a bushy face was not listening to her indeed. In fact, he was sniffing all the rainbows and cookies and poop indeed. Why, thank you, the bushy dog said to Alice. Just indeed. There is Alice and a bushy dog. Crikey! Oh my god, there's a quite unusual, creepy, stripy cat! Are you Chester? Chester indeed! No bloody way! There's cards, and hearts, and clovers, and all different deck of cards, and, you know, what is it called again, Rami? No, no, goldfish. Oh, that's it, it was Candyland indeed. Candyland? Don't you mean shoots and ladders? Quite unusual, a cat took a nap and fat cat took a nap fell on her hat the queen indeed is a deck of cards indeed wearing a poofy fat red and black striped dress indeed here she is talking to a kitty cat crikey oh my goodness no it's a bonkers dream ridiculously ridiculously indeed Oh my god, a crazy court? A court? Why are we going to court now? You know, a crazy courthouse. A wild of cards in a courthouse. The hearts, the clovers, the diamonds. All different types of cards, hey? You know what? I'm starting to wonder this is not going to be a nice show or game of Candyland ever indeed. Do you know what I'm saying? Check out the cards in Candyland. Oh my goodness, a wonderful door. A door that looks beautiful, yes indeed, a wonderful door. What? A door with a talking doorknob? Oh, get out of here. This is just a cross of bridges and a bundle of sticks, eh? We will talk about it later, Alice, when you get home from your wonky, wonky dreams. You do know too much a cup of tea with four creams of sugar will make you go a little bit wonkers and mad, eh? A door with a talking doorknob, she said. Well, it's okay. Well... I'll talk to you later. Will will it take you later? Take you where? You know, take me through the door. Alice wants to get home. Oh, well, it was just another crazy dream in my head. Too much cups of tea, I suggest and said indeed. Too many cups of tea. Ha! That's what the crazy rabbit in Manhattan said across the table on the right and the left, according to Pinky and Mark over there sitting that way. And it was just an all wonderful, filled out, whipped cream dream indeed. A wonderful dream with filled with cream. A cup of tea indeed? No way. I'm just going to pet the silly tiny cat sitting on my lap, eh? If you like this content, thumbs up the video. This is my EBDO story time. Love, Rose, from The Social Identity, and we'll talk to you a bit later.